everyone, welcome to another Overrated Film Saturday. I'm going to be uploading this video early so that you may enjoy your 4th of July video because I'm probably not going to be around on the 4th of July. So without further ado, let me discuss what I thought would be a perfect uh, film to discuss for this Independence Day. And that is the movie Independence Day. Oh yes, this film is... Um, it's one of those films that I love that is overrated. Um, in the same way that I that I enjoy Jurassic Park for its stupidity. Um, or excuse me, not Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, um, the recent one that made bajillions upon bajillions of, of dollars. Um, that, that's not accurate, but it, but it made a really huge number of money and broke records and things like that. Um, and... Independence Day is sort of that kind of a, a film because it was the largest, I, I believe it made the, the most amount of money uh, on the year of its release um, out of all the other films that came out that year. Um, and I think a lot of people wanted this kind of a film. Um, and I do enjoy it. And I do enjoy it for its stupidity. Uh, in the same way that, again, that I enjoy Jurassic World for its stupid moments. Um, <laughs> but I will say, for the m amount of money that it made, for the amount of attention that it got, for the amount of exposure that this film has had over the years, I think it is a little bit overboard. Um, again, sort of similar to Jurassic World and how it made so much money and there's still tons of people talking about it and all that. Um, so... Basically, I'm not one of those who, again, obviously the idea of aliens um, invading and evading uh, around the time of Independence Day is um, definitely not one that we have heard of, um, but alien invasion is pretty common as far as a disaster alien scenario like we've seen this in War of the Worlds and other films that have tried to capture this scenario um and the thing is, is Independence Day doesn't really bring anything new to the table with this concept um I mean the characters are not as interesting um the plot is kind of ridiculous um, especially with the whole, like, hacking into the alien system, you know, somehow to, <laughs> to, to try to defeat the aliens, you know, the, the science is complete mumbo jumbo, again, similar to, um, Jurassic World, you know, it's got all of these problems, um, and I think as a result, it doesn't make it as intelligent of a science fiction film as maybe some other alien projects, like, for example, Alien, uh, a film that I reviewed for the Classic Movie Monday. You know, it doesn't have that caliber of, uh, of, um, of intelligence. Uh, it, it, it's just designed to be mindless fun. Um, and it does that really well. I mean, it, 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 it having Will Smith in this movie really suits this all really well. Um, you know, ha having uh, Jeff Goldblum do goofy stuff and be a, an awkward scientist, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> in Jurassic Park, he pretty much played the same character, but, um, you know. So, again, there's a lot of kind of kinds of things that, you know, are rather familiar, um, that I think a lot of people can find enjoyment out of, and that I would understand why this film would get so much exposure, but I think at the end of the day, is it really all that fabulous? Is it really something that you could, you could look back on and say, yeah, I remember when Independence Day came out, and, you know, it was just so freedom and yeah and i think this this film too borders lines on this kind of patriotism uh in particular american patriotism that um i i think sometimes can work and other times i just feel is a little bit too on the sides of preachy at least for my taste 
you know, I mean, yes, I know it's America and we're awesome, but you know, I, I don't need to, you know, shove it constantly down people's throat. Um, but again, there's other films that have, you know, done it, but only, but maybe through a total comedic and, uh, and satire purposes. Like for example, uh, I believe it was, uh, American Teen was the one with the puppets, you know, where they had the, the song about America. <laughs> so, um, really, I think that's something, too, that makes this film a little bit, you know, the, the over kind of glorification of things. And, you know, that, that whole speech the, the president gives, it's just, it is kind of laughable, you know, you're just like, yeah, this is so great. But at the same time, you're just like, it's so generic sounding, you know, it's like that same generic speech that we've heard from presidents time and time again, at least um, American presidents. So uh, I, I think that's really, um, uh, really the, the thing about this film that kind of just makes me look back on it and go, yeah, it's just, it's, it's just a little bit, it's just not as smart <laughs> as it could be. You know, there, there could have been things that could have, uh, been executed in a way that, you know, could have, um, been, I think, a little bit more exaggerated, either a little bit more exaggerated or, um, or taken a little bit more seriously. And, and I think it's hard because on the one hand, they're dealing with a really serious matter and that the, the, people are dying and, you know, the world is going to the pooper hole because of aliens. Um, so again, it, it, it's, it's a very, um, bizarre kind of a film as far as, um, as far as inserting this patriotism in with a scenario that hasn't happened at least yet so I think that's a, another thing that kind of makes this uh, whole film a little bit ridiculous and you know crazy and yeah is it uh yeah is it is it kind of it wasn't really maybe meant to be like that it probably was um but I think what the film did have going for it as far as um getting people to be really invested in it was the marketing because they did market this film really well and it ended up resonating with a lot of people. I remember I think I saw a trailer of it and it gave me kind of the spook, spooky chills of seeing the White House blow up and you know all that. Um, but again, seeing the White House blow up doesn't make your film, you know, compelling. <laughs> Ooh, I blew something up. You know, I, I blew a landmark up. I, that means uh, my film deserves millions upon millions of dollars in ref, in uh, profit. <laughs> you know, um, again, that's that's kind of one of those things where, I, again, I think had they taken maybe a little bit of the smarter approach on things, it would have been a little bit more, I think, memorable and interesting. But what they kind of choose to do, you know, by putting in things that we've seen a million times over and at the same time, you know, kind of over exaggerating things and making things silly, while at the same time having these kinds of serious topics that it's ultimately trying to bring up. And then on top of that, inserting some kind of patriotism um, or at least patriotic sort of message within the film, especially with the president's speech, um, I think just kind of makes it a little bit too overboard at times. Like, like there, there are points where I can really enjoy how dumb this film is, and then there are other points where um, I feel like when it tries to be a little bit seri more serious, it kind of, you know, loses you uh, because it's not being silly any and fun and stupid anymore. <laughs> So, uh, so I think that's my problem. And there's probably, you know, this, I think the same issue you could say probably too for Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic World, uh, the recent film that came out. Um, but I, I think at least within that one, they weren't trying to put in some sort of patriotism or trying to, um, 
you know, put an environmental message in there. Uh, whereas this film, I felt, was, like, trying to insert too many things and not really focus on trying to nail one point down really well. Um, instead, it kind of, it, it just feels very jumbled and all over the place. Um, and I think that's kind of the kind of film it was maybe meant to be. But at the same time, you know, I just think it... It just makes it a less effective final product. I mean, is it? Are there points where I really do enjoy how stupid it is? Absolutely, um, and those pits are entertaining. But then to sit through some other stuff that you just kind of go, really, do we have to sit through this? And you know, those, you know, you'll sit through exposition, and you'll just go, okay, when are we gonna see the aliens again? When are we gonna see these crazy characters? Um, going on a on a mission to defeat the aliens, and when are we gonna see that one guy that was kidnapped by aliens? You know, I'm just kind of waiting for that. You know, you're you're just waiting for the dumb, enjoyable stuff to happen through some boring parts, and uh, I think that's really the the thing too that kind of deters me from you know kind of embracing the the dumbness. You know, it's it's like just, just give me more of it <laughs> or just try to maybe be a little bit more serious, but when you do, um, try to make it maybe a little bit more effective. <laughs> um, and if you want to insert in a patriot patriotic message to it, um, why not, you know, have at least a more, um, less generic speech? <laughs> Please? That's all I ask. I know how the guy had to make it, um, make it on the cuff, but I mean, at least they could have done something more, I feel. I mean, you know, we're gonna live on! <laughs> it just, it's so cheesy. Um, so, yeah, I, I think this film suffers a lot of problems, and it is overrated for what it is. I still enjoy it immensely, even if it is stupid. <laughs> but, again, I think toning down the, the whole the whole influence that this film has had as far as disaster films go um i think probably is 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 a is a better way to see this this movie because it, it was very over exaggerated it was i think a little bit overpraised for what it ultimately provided at the end of the day um uh, but i mean it's still fun it's just if you don't mind sitting through some boring parts and then getting to the really fun and stupid, then you will enjoy this film, and that's why I personally enjoy it, but I understand that it is very, um, it ha it suffers from a lot of problems as far as plot, as far as character, as far as the way everything is structured within this film, you know, the stupid decisions that some people make within this film just blows my mind, um, <laughs> but, you know, it, it's just, it's just one of those things where, you know, you just, you just enjoy, I enjoy the stupidity, but then at the same time, you know, when it tries to put in serious stuff, I just kind of turn off my brain and wait until the dumb stuff happens again. So, I think this is, this is my Jurassic World for me, because, you know, I felt like this film either could have been, gone a little bit more stupid, or could have gone a little bit more intelligent, or maybe balanced those two out. Uh, well, but I don't think within this film it really jives all that well. Um, and there's a lot of awkward, weird moments in this film, too. So, yeah, I think there could have been a lot of work done <laughs> as far as making this film better. And I think it is very over-glorified. And I think that's largely due to, again, um, from a marketing standpoint, you know, they knew how to sell this thing. Um, and they also knew how to... Um, they they knew who the who the demographics were and they knew what kind of message they wanted to kind of convey. Um, it's just that message just maybe looks cool in a trailer, but then when you see you know, the whole entire thing, you just kind of go, eh, yeah, it's not as not as innovative as I, as you, as somebody would I, somebody would probably think. Um. But yeah, I think that's really ultimately all I can say about this film. It is, 
it is dumb, but it is enjoyably dumb <laughs> for me. But I understand that it is overpriced for what it ultimately is. Again, similar to films like Gladiator, where I do genuinely like the film. Uh, it's just I think it's sometimes a little bit over uh, overpraised for what it's ultimately uh, providing. And in the same way, this film, I think, does a similar thing. Uh, except the fact that, you know, I enjoy it more for its, um, int uh, for its stupid stuff than it's supposed to be interesting, uh, thought-provoking stuff, which are probably none within this film. Uh, but yeah, I think that's really ultimately all I can say. If there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year. And uh, happy Independence Day, everybody. Bye-bye.